Get off me, you damn lambes. Finally. Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now or face the consequences of your actions. Let's discuss the problem, whatever it may be. There is an alliance between your leader Lacroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. What alliance? What are you talking about? We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? So basically, I, there is no option. I got my mission, I will stay. The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously. Sorry, but you won't get it. Give you one more ch the time. Yeesh. These guys are tough. Kindred. There is. We'll give you one. Mm. The time for this.
This is getting to be incredibly difficult. Don't help when I fall over. Your presence here. There is Ah, uh, bullshit, there's no way. We'll give you one more chance. The time for decisions has... Teleport out. I'm saving. Come on, show yourself. Of course I can't change outfits. In combat, so I can't switch my better armor. Saving! At least I got doing better than last time. Back up. Wait for them to come to me. Come on. Come on, you punks. Come to me. Dang it. Get back. Why about ha ha? Well, I'm safe here for the moment. And I've taken out one of them. So why is gonna wait for the other one up here? Save. Let's get the damn first attack in.
the book that she wants me to find, that Pisha wants me to find? I certainly didn't find any other book. Outstanding. There was some doubt by members of my court as to your ability, but I placed my faith wisely. Finally, the Ancoran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. Before we do that, I need an answer. Are you in an alliance with the Kyojin? What? Preposterous! No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. I was told by a Kyojin agent sent to steal the sarcophagus. And you believe them? They've been trying to take over LA for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin our ranks. They are duplicitous, evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? They... yes, but... Insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hoped to create dissension in the ranks, rumors. It's a trick older than you or I. I still don't know what to believe. Let's open the dance or top cup, I guess. Then you just phased through me! What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, Budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't, as yet, had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> Why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you! I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane! I want it open! You! You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. If only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. So how do we open it? In the last few seconds, I've had very few epiphanies. I may be old, but I didn't build it. How knowledgeable are you on ancient Assyrian funerary constructs? There aren't any other unopened Assyrian sarcophagi in existence. Impressive. Maybe you'll let me borrow your library card. But honestly, even my own archaeological experience is of no assistance here. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. Who? 
His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Where can we find him? Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. It appears he's been abducted. By whom? I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. You figure that office to figure out as well. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them head first over the side. So what do we do to get him back? The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection. Or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used quite ingeniously as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. Society of Leopold? Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold some time ago. They're so secret a church organization, I don't even think they know if they exist. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ, or some such deity. So how do we get him out? You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath, where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. How do we get there? I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. I have a few questions before Excellent. I go. Anything else you can tell me? The society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Best not to announce yourself. So do you think this sarcophagus is part of Gehenna? Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. Do you know anything else about the Thin Blood? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? <laughs> Let's go with that one. Sometimes I think the Nosferatu are justified in their prejudices. But to each their own, I suppose. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. Did you find a way to open this up? Getting the sarcophagus back was quite an expensive ordeal. I understand. I'm sure you'll find this suitable recompense. Thanks. I had a question. Which is? What 
you know about the Kyujin? Traditionally, the Kuijin has stayed in Asian territory and the kindred Europe and later North America. But recently, they invaded the West Coast, killing off a substantial number of Anarchs. They lack the organization of the Camarilla and think nothing of breaking the masquerade. Though we share similar traits, there is no fraternity between us. We embrace. They rise from the grave. They do not know the pleasure of blood. They are without clan. And oh yes, they believe our kind to be inferior. They are as much of a threat as the wolves. Wolves? Werewolves. I can still recall a time when cities were surrounded by miles of forests full of the beasts. But progress has taken care of that problem. Nope, still not bad. If it satisfies you, I make an effort to only prey on the weak and worthless, consuming their flesh not out of spite, but out of self-preservation. I wither and rot without it. It is my survival. Yes. It is used to communicate with certain entities of the world. Supposed to be a book in the Giovanni Mansion, but yeah, I cannot figure out where the heck it is. And I searched that place top to bottom. So I probably won't be getting whatever she has. Kind of a bummer. This has not been a perfect playthrough, obviously. Can't get to the library. My game is just buggy all out of the place.
Money, right? Been a while. Giovanni Mission Crypt. So really, if it's going to be in here... developers hide a special artifact. I am seeing nothing here. There really is nowhere else it can be. No, this is part of the vanilla game because all I did was install the um, unofficial patch. This is the Giovanni Mansion where the sarcophagus is.
thought this has been the perfect playthrough, so missing a couple things wouldn't be uh, the first thing. Yes, I was. Seriously, the embalming room? All right, load game. do that ending fight all over again, but hey, that's pretty mild compared to everything else. Where are you, you stupid book? Of course it is, right there. At least now I know what I need to do. Now, does this particular save take place after I have killed, yep, the leader of the Giovanni, Bruno? Just stand there, being all buggy. They do. I mean, what? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you leave your most prized possession in an embalming room in a secret hidden basement? Guarded by brain eating ghouls? Or. Seriously, open. And now this door is being buggy.
There we go. Kane knows I've missed enough quest object there's enough quest stuff. I want to at least get to this one. And we're so close to completing the game. Be smart this time. Now we're ready for the kindred of the East. Kindred. There is an alliance between your leader, LaCroix, and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. I've got to get a publicist. You two obviously aren't aware of my reputation. We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? No, I will not. Nope, nope, go back, go back. teleporting trick. Crap! is not going to be fun. Ken. 
We'll give you the time for this. doing nearly as well as they did last time. Well, on the plus side, I'm fully healed. Come on, what are you guys going to do now? Well, I have, like... I still have my original 2 Strength and 4 Brawl, but with Blood Buff and Proteon 4, needless to say, I should be relatively tough. Should be being the key word. Stupid ninja magic. Stop your teleporting after one attack, that ain't fair. If you want to flee, you run back like I do. Don't just teleport. You miss me! Plus side, they're both close to death now.
the blocking. It does nothing. Of course, Vampire EXE has stopped working. This is why I save so frequently. Because that happens. Outstanding. Come. I've granted Beckett's request to study and doc- What? Preposterous. And you believe them? In short. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Since Pandora's box. already went through this box. conversation tree, I'm just going to speed through it. The markings, as far as it. I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't, as yet, had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you, I thought you said it looked you as really if it had been opened on the day. You really want to set loose an epidluvian, insane, insane, then You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to... In the last... Impressive. Maybe you'll let... His name... Until yesterday... I did... Actual... The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection. Well, yes, I know he wants to diabolize it, but from my understanding, you open the sarcophagus, the elder's going to munch on you. And then, you know, start Gehenna.
Sebastian Men. You'll have. I wouldn't. Excellent. The society. Well, if we. How any. Hmm. Sometimes, unless you've got fur. This always brings me back to my other question. What if the Elder isn't Ventru? Would dialabarizing an Elder of a different clan again put you into that clan because you'd be reducing your generation off of the blood of someone who is not from your clan? Or would you become some weird hybrid? Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? I understand. Which is... Traditionally, the quick Though we share... Werewolves. Witches? If you didn't take the time to ask, perhaps we'd know by now. As I mentioned before, my concern is that it pertains something supernatural. Now Beckett has waived this theory altogether. The city is alight with dread. Perhaps it's an antediluvian. Would you gain their clan The antediluvians are the mythical progenitors of each of the clans for whom they trace their bloodlines. And according to mythology, descendants of Cain, the legendary first vampire. As in the biblical Cain and Abel? Before you put too much stock in it, realize that the church and all of its mythos are blends of kindred and mortal meddling. Whips to regulate weak minds. This is all Beckett's field of expertise. If you want a lesson, merely ask him. I wouldn't recommend war. Excellent. Remember. The entire idea of Diablo has always just fascinated me from a mechanic standpoint, like because from when I when I read the vampire books, you don't actually become the generation or even one generation removed from the Antediluvian, like the Antediluvians are what, Generation 3 and most others are what, 6 or 7? But it's always kind of fascinating to me, like, you know, you take an Antediluvian, you say you're, I don't know, 13 is thin blood, so say you're 7th generation, you nom on an Antediluvian, you end up becoming 5th generation at best. So the third generation guy, just gone, and there's no one anywhere near his generation. You gain maybe one, two generation ranks, and that's about it. Something I've always found kind of fascinating. I personally like the idea, one that I have the rare opportunity to be storyteller, is that since the blood is so potent, that you would become one generation removed, so essentially generation four, no matter, even if you were a thin blood. But there's all kinds of negative stuff that happens with it, because you basically are absorbing the essence, the soul, of a very, very ancient and powerful being, which is going to screw with you on so many levels. Generally, I treat Diablery in that entire function, is that you're absorbing the soul of a more powerful vampire, it's going to mess with you quite a bit. Yes. Here's the book you're looking for. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? 
They were a little distracted, so I was able to slip in under the radar. It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. What do you mean? In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war. I'll take that into consideration. I have picked up a new item. Plan Asimite, one of many handfuls still exists, and this key of to damage, increasing all soak ratings by one. That's not too bad at all. Got 10 experience points now. Need 10 more for that. Um, here's my current character sheet. Give me your thoughts on what I should spend 10 experience points on. Need 12 for that if I want to use the book I picked up, the skill book. 16 for that. Hmm. Fortitude is not a bad idea. Anyway, here's my character sheet. Give me your thoughts. I have 10 experience. Stop being weird, game. Seriously. might be the better one to start investing in. the wrong button. Just 
Things get more. Streets the hillside. I heard the Croy's been talking to Becker too. Becker's a skeptic about all this stuff. I just hope he knows to be careful with that snake Croy. You do what you have to do. Kid, if you don't do it, somebody else will. You're in a good position to make a difference, Mr. Big Shot. A lot of kindreds wondering just which way you'll go. Sure thing, kill fire away. What's on your mind? Fusion. Yeah, some of these younger anarchs got a real burning hate for the Quijin. First time a lot I of cannot them pronounce that. combat in the streets and seen their buddies dying was when the Asian invaders showed up. Are they tough? Yep. Cost the Anarch San Francisco. They're tough. Hard to get a beat on them. At least the Kindred, you know, you pretty much know what to expect, but they're capable of. Way Jin? Full of surprises. I met one. She didn't seem so bad. She had some interesting things to say. Yeah, don't let them shot your head with that mumbo jumbo. That crap wasn't meant for you or different breeds. That's it. Some ancient evil vampire gonna rise up out of there and bring all hell with it. Shit. For all we know, it might be Cain himself. Some people are saying it's one of the first signs of Japan. And, uh, the Camarilla denies any of that shit exists. Vampire forefathers, doomsday prophecies, all just superstition in Camelay. Lots of people. The Sabbat believe in it. They go around trying to hunt down these sleeping ancients so they can kill them before they rise up. That's the word, anyway. Of course, most of our attacks I've seen couldn't find their car keys. Us? The Anarchs? Everybody's free to make up their own mind, I guess. I buy it. To explain all the blood in here, we probably all pay them right into this thing's hands. If it has hands. Yeah? Do I know the Kuei Jin? Those motherfuckers showed up in California five years ago and been fighting us tooth and claw for every inch of the free state since. Yeah, I know. Let me tell you, they ain't nothing like us. They're devils, man. Shifty fucking devils. Seeing the shit they're capable of makes some of what I saw in Nam make a lot more sense. I was thinking of the Fu Corporation when I was in Chinatown. I think I'm confusing them with Strike Force Zero from this book. They're either Strike Force Zero or Technocracy, is my guess. They're all invaders. The Kuei Jin, they're less likely to deal with you. They think they're the superior beings or whatever. But the Camarilla, they'll just lie and stab you in the back. Which is worse? Does it really matter? Well, I'm thinking more like, you know, one of the mortal sub-directories of the technocracy. 
I mean, if you believe the technocrats, pretty much everybody works for the technocrats. Even if they don't know they're working for the technocrats. And Twitch has crashed on me. Of course it has. And there we go. I do wish there was a sprint button. But given the Chinatown itself seems to be playing up just basically being all the stuff in the Kindred of the East source books, I'm guessing they're Strike Force Zero. Or generic hunters. Oh, I don't speak ill of the Technocrats. I mean, I did mention that I was the leader of the NWO and later the Syndicate on the White Wolf chats, didn't I? Money, right? Been a while. Also once recreated Robocop as a irritation exer. And that was a fun one. How do you pass off a cyborg as being within the uh, paradigm paradigm? Make him and make him look like Robocop. Nineteen eighties version. Okay. Talk. Where to? Society of Leopold.
Seriously, game? You won't let me go through there. going to be annoying. Yeah, it's just the si most silent weapon I have, which is why I use it. So that's going to make a lot of noise. Hundred and fifty hit points, really? that before but didn't have much hey, luck. What was that? Hey, 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 what was that? Are they gonna see me? Are they gonna see me? Are they gonna see me? Of course they saw me. side.
And head, to our, back, head back in the other direction. Hey. Let me. for this. something that does a lot of damage. I love the fact that it's... Why are you doing that game, seriously? It just opens up fire before I'm even ready. Just decides to shoot. Randomly. Feed. 
the games with being buggy now. Like it literally will just open fire at random. I am getting my ass kicked by this damn map, is what I am doing. That's how I am doing, rather. Of course not.
course not. There's just no way to do it. And then it just starts doing this. Literally just sparks me off in the middle of firing, and I have no choice here.
Seriously. Good at. That's working a lot better than trying to range these guys.
Who the hell is firing at me? Lord, I pray now that you give me strength in battle, that I might overcome the hordes of Satan and his children, that I might wield the flaming sword of the Archangel and defend myself with your shield of faith, and that my victories are many and my wounds few, that I might further your kingdom hero. And if I meet death tonight, then let it be first that I cast a mighty host of demons back into the lake of fire as they came, and then rest finally in the light of the right mind. Who's there? <laughs> this, this I can handle. Hey, hey, what's this? 
No one's here. Go ahead, turn around. The tricky part is whether or not I'll actually be able to get the drop on either one of these three multiple guards in there. Wonderful.
annoying. You create a system where we're supposed to be able to switch weapons and it doesn't work. guns that I have that are absolutely sucking.
Who's doing it? Hey, free! 